An NGO is a non-governmental organization, uh, generally not-for-profit. Uh, things like the Red Cross, uh, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, the Ford Foundation, there are many thousands of them that operate from the United States and they operate from other countries. Uh, a lot of them work globally. Uh, they provide food relief in impoverished nations. Uh, there might be an M NGO that uh, specializes in building schools in Central America or uh, there might be one that provides dental care to children in Haiti. Any uh, charitable or good work that you can imagine probably has an NGO or many NGOs supporting those missions. And most of what they do, I think, uh, most Americans would say is, is good, you know, providing dental care to children in Haiti, for example. I don't think we argue that that's a bad thing to do. There are some NGOs, however, that are not really non-governmental. They operate as fronts for the United States government to do things in other nations generally, but sometimes here in this country, that the official federal government, our federal government, wouldn't want its fingerprints on for various reasons. For example, um, an NGO providing food relief, ostensibly, publicly, uh, for impoverished areas of some country in Central America, might also have as its mission the secret providing of U.S. military weapons to some particular faction in that country because the United States government wants the government of that country to be overthrown. Uh, that would be illegal for the U.S. government to do uh, officially, so they use NGOs to do the, the secret things. Now, one of the things NGOs uh, will do is foment what are called uh, color revolutions, and there's a reason I won't get into why they're called color revolutions. Uh, but an NGO might use its personnel and its resources to stir up political and social unrest in some country, in, for example, Ukraine, and uh, cooperate, let's say, work with the CIA secretly to uh, stimulate a revolution in that country to overthrow a government that our government of the moment wants overthrown. And uh, that's something that Congress needs to be in control of. Uh, some people might say, well, that's a good and necessary thing. We need to have these secret uh, commitments to uh, military foreign policy activities that are technically illegal and we don't want the public to know about it. Other countries know what we're doing. They have intelligence agencies so that when one of our NGOs is doing something illegal, uh, Russia knows about it, China knows about it. Uh, the reason it's done through an NGO really is so that the American public won't know about it. And that is, uh, again, something that a legitimate Congress ought to be in charge of if it is to take place. That's a decision for the citizens of the United States to make through their elected representatives. As it is now, it's done and controlled by people in Washington who are dishonest, secretive, and corrupt. In short, criminals. So we currently have criminals with all the power of the United States government working through these NGOs to violate American law. Uh, certainly it violates international law, but my primary concern is that, that it violates our own law, committing murder and other crimes in the name of the American people. Uh, I'm going to talk about NGOs some more in other videos and, and perhaps text posts. It's a very important topic that I haven't touched on yet, so I'll leave uh, this here for the moment. 
and elaborate further uh, sometime soon. Thank you for listening. I always appreciate it. I can't give you a weather report because it's dark outside, so I'm shooting this video in the house. All right, and we are going to overthrow this government and take charge of our own governance and make it good. Make it something that we can be proud of, something we can pass down to our grandchildren and uh, with confidence that they are going to benefit greatly. That's, that's our mission, to, uh, to do something good for our children, grandchildren, and future generations of America.